My name is Taylor and I am the Myrtle Beach Travel Park Recreation Director. It is a beautiful day here in Myrtle Beach. So we're gonna do a little read a thong with this book called Harry Horseshoe Crab written by Suzanne Tate. Harry Horseshoe Crab was a creepy crawly creature. Harry had five pairs of walking legs and looked like a prehistoric monster. Everybody called Harry a crab. He looked like one, but he really belonged to a different family. His cousins were spiders. And his family was very old. Animals like Harry Horseshoe Crab lived on Earth billions of years ago. Harry lived in a big touch tank at an aquarium. It was there he met Henrietta Horseshoe Crab. She was much larger than he. Every day, Harry and Henrietta crawled back and forth. They tried to climb the walls of the touch tank. Children came to see the harmless, crawly creatures. Sometimes they picked up Harry by his tail and left him upside down. But Harry could turn himself right side up with his long, sharp tail. Living in the touch tank made Harry Horseshoe Crab touchy. I don't like to be picked up like that, he said to Henrietta one day. It nearly wears off my tail. Well, crawl over here by me, urged Henrietta. She had learned to stay at the back of the tank from everyone. How smart are you, said Harry. You are a real blue blood. Now Harry and Henrietta did have blue blood. It wasn't red like humans. One day, they decided at the aquarium to give Harry and Henrietta to a lab. The lab was a place where helpful humans took blood from horseshoe crabs. The blood was used to test medicines and save lives. It was very special. When Harry heard about the lab, he was scared. He didn't know what would happen to him there. But Henrietta said, don't be afraid. They will only keep us two days and they will be nice to us. She said she had been caught once before and taken to the lab. Henrietta was right. Helpful humans at the lab treated them well. They didn't even pick up the horseshoe crabs by their tails. After Harry and Henrietta had given blood, came the nicest surprise of all. They turned loose in the sea. Harry Horseshoe Crab was happy. He swam with Henrietta to a place called Tween Waters. Let's look for shellfish, he said. Henrietta was hungry too, so off they went. They plowed along the bottom looking for little clams. But it was springtime and Henrietta Horseshoe Crab was soon thinking other thoughts. It was time to lay my eggs, she said to Harry. Harry knew that it was time for him to hitch a ride with Henrietta. So he grabbed her shell with his short stubby front claws. The claws were like little hooks. Henrietta swam along with Harry in tow. Since she was larger, she could easily swim with him. They soon came to the beach and crawled ashore. Henrietta dug a hole in the sand and laid her eggs. It was important for Henry to be there to fertilize Henrietta's eggs. That way her eggs later would hatch, a little horseshoe crab's life would begin. Many other horseshoe crabs joined, Harry and Henrietta on the beach. Waves washed up and the water was thick with eggs. After a while, Harry and Henrietta swam back to Tween Waters. Henrietta decided to rest on the bottom. Harry, however, was hungry. I think I'll look for food around three islands, he said. See you later. Then Harry Horseshoe Crab scooted across the shoal to search again for shellfish. And that is the story of Harry Horseshoe Crab by Suzanne Tate. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of Harry Horseshoe Crab, A Tale of Crawly Creatures. The reading of this book and use of its illustrations was made possible through a special arrangement with publisher Nags Head Art Inc. You can find many of author Suzanne Tate's works in the Myrtle Beach Travel Park General Store. And for more information about the author, illustrator, and publisher, check out the website SuzanneTate.com. You can also like their Facebook page, Suzanne Tate's Nature Series published by Nags Head Art Inc.